Hello everyone, Ray Federasi here on the McAllen Cable Network here at the beautiful campus of South Texas College in McAllen. I'm joined today by Dr. Shirley Reed, the president, and also Mr. Juan Mejia. He's a vice president for academic affairs. Thank you guys so much for inviting us oh, to your campus. Our pleasure. The community Thank you. already knows you guys have had phenomenal growth, and today we're going to talk about that and all the other exciting things that you guys have going on. We're looking forward to sharing some of what's going on around here. It's an exciting place to be every day something new is going on. You're about to celebrate your 20th anniversary, and if we could talk just a little bit about your humble beginnings to, wow, where you are now. Well, those humble beginnings were back in 1993 when we had just a couple of buildings. We opened our doors with 1,000 students, and this fall we'll be over 30,000 students with wow. Five campuses, actually six. We'll tell you a little bit more about our virtual campus a little later on in our interview. So nice, and you've got you're offering a lot of uh, programs. Uh, maybe some that people aren't so aware of. I wasn't aware of uh, your your fire science academy, your police academy, your commercial baking certificate that you're offering now. Could you talk a little bit about those? Well, those are our three latest programs. Now, Mr. Mejia has been intimately involved in developing those programs. It has taken us. I'd say 18 years to bring some wow. of them to the forefront, but we're quite proud of them. When we started, we had 10 certificate programs. So the 1,000 students that President Reed is talking about were here to enroll in very short careers. Now we have over 120 degree and certificate options for students, including the ones that you mentioned that are quite uh, in partnership with the city of McAllen, for example, and other nearby cities as well. The Fire Science Academy, for example, the leading to a degree in fire science and then the ones that we're developing in the police academy and the whole law enforcement uh, degree as well and then the very exciting and innovative uh, some of them tied to the food channel uh, a commercial baking uh, mm -hmm. to complement our full culinary arts program very nice and, and for, for people who are interested in those uh, new programs um, how, how soon might they be able to enroll in those? Well, we have programs that are re already in place. Now here, uh, we encourage anyone that's interested to come and visit the, the installations at any one of our campuses, as was mentioned, uh, because we're getting ready for a very strong fall semester, which will begin in the, in the month of August. So anytime soon, come by now. The programs will be ready to start this coming fall semester. And you mentioned your virtual campus. Can you talk about that a little We're bit? We're actually calling um, S the ESTC as our sixth campus. It is a virtual campus, online programs. We have 20 full degrees available online. We actually have 6,000 students take in online classes, wow. and we have developed it to have a capacity to serve about 10,000 students. So. Um, and what kind of uh, degrees or certifications are, are available on those? Um, you can get, uh, help me with the Absolutely. names of the programs. And to build on the virtual campus, uh, you can get the interdisciplinary study, criminal justice, business. Those are some of the yeah. examples. You can uh, get in education. So there's all these opportunities for the student that wants to study at midnight, uh, really 24-7. Mm -hmm. Now one thing most institutions may offer one course online. Others may offer maybe one degree. We have a full virtual campus. And what that means is that every service that a student will receive while attending the physical campus, they can receive online. So all the way from admissions to counseling to registering, advising, and all the pr program that goes along with it, tutoring. And the only thing that we need to show up if they really, and we invite them, it would be for their graduation. Very nice. Uh, you, you guys, um, uh, why, why do you think South Texas College has, has been so successful? I think my incredible leadership. <laughs> no. Aside from your incredible leadership. We have you've, a, been, you've been here a very long time. I have. I really have. Um, I'm going on my 18th year. Congratulations. And I wish, thank you. I wish I could take credit. Um, but actually, our success is the result of the faculty and staff and the board of trustees and the support that we have gotten from the city of McAllen and right. all the other communities throughout Hidalgo and Starr County. Um, I think when the college was created, McAllen in particular just embraced the college, gave us the support we needed to get started. And we've just been the poster child. We are the ones that McAllen Economic Development Corporation is counting on to prepare the workforce. The public schools are counting on us to provide dual enrollment. Um, 
we consider ourselves the catalyst for the economic development going on in our community. So uh, there's a lot of reasons why we're I successful. read somewhere you had something like 11,000 students enrolled in the high school dual enrollment. Yes, yes, that's and that's in partnership with 21 school districts. I believe we're offering dual enrollment at 58 different high schools. We actually tallied the cost of that tuition that we have waived for families and it's in excess of seventy million dollars wow. that we have saved families by making dual enrollment available free of charge. We waive tuition and fees for all participating students in dual enrollment. The, the state population in Texas has about a hundred thousand students enrolled in dual enrollment. That's including all universities and community colleges. Just South Texas College has over 11, close to 11,000 students. So that tells you that yeah. over 10% of the students throughout the state of Texas are enrolled here. So adding to the, the success of the college, uh, a very visionary board of trustees, a strong yeah. leadership in President Reed, uh, very committed faculty and staff, and the strong partnerships with our, with our school districts, with our neighbor university as well, where we have a very strong yeah. relationship, and then business and industry. Very good. And if somebody out there is watching and they have a, a high school age uh, a student, uh, how does it work? How exactly does a dual enrollment work? What, what, what does a parent need to know? Uh, you know, we find out that as important as this is, and as President Reed was saying, no tuition, no fees to these students, is that some students do not know. So they need to contact us directly or check with their public school where they're attending. They can start in the sophomore year with special permission, and then but the junior year and senior year, if they're eligible, then they, we should be enrolling them in dual enrollment so that they can start building this college-going mentality, a college mm -hmm. readiness culture, and then that concept that I'm going to graduate from college. So we encourage them to contact us directly. We have offices specifically for that or to work with their public school as well. Yeah. Very good. You touched a little bit about your partnership with UTPA. Could you expand on that a little bit? Absolutely. The national model, we truly believe this is a national model about partnership. And I, I commend again President Reed and President Nelson at the university where we said that we were going to provide seamless transfer for all students that are enrolled at South Texas College between SCC and UTPA. There's some marketing out there about SCC to UTPA and we're making great strides in that. Students that start at South Texas College, we encourage them to graduate from here and then transfer directly to UTPA without any loss of credit. All right. And earlier you're mentioning uh, campuses in, in, in other cities here in the Valley. It's important to mention them too because uh, you know what's good for the region is good for McAllen. I understand at PSJA and at another campus uh, in Mission you offer a welding academy as well, correct? We have, let me kind of review uh, for your, your listeners or your viewers. Um, we have a campus in Star County, Rio Grande City. We have three campuses in McAllen. We have the Pecan Campus, we have a Nursing Allied Health Campus, and we have a Technology Campus. And then in Westlaco, we have our Mid Valley Campus. So we have strategically positioned ourselves so that we're convenient, close to home for everybody throughout the two county areas that we serve. Now, in addition to the campuses, we also offer courses in partnership with other entities, for example, with the City of McAllen and UT Pan American at the main place. Here in the City of McAllen, we have a teaching site where we partner with the university and we offer the uh, freshman, sophomore level, and then the university does the graduate and upper level courses as well. The ones you mentioned, working with uh, the City of Mission and the City of FAR, are specific academies that we're doing with the school district to serve the students in that region. Talk a little bit more about the, the, the teaching site here in McAllen. Oh, absolutely. We went into a partnership with the University of Texas Pan American where they wanted to have a presence to serve the students of the city of McAllen, and they made available those facilities which are state-of-the-art so that we can offer the freshman and sophomore level uh, components of those degrees. All right, very good. And you guys do a big job in, in, in training our workforce. Uh, here recently, uh, we just read at the Business Journals uh, on Numbers, uh, ranked McAllen, the McAllen MSA, number one for long-term job growth. And you guys play a big role in that. Talk to us a little bit more about how you exactly train our workforce. That, um, that responsibility um, was pretty much the basis for creating South Texas College. We were created as an economic development strategy. The, uh, the leaders in the city of McAllen and McAllen Economic Development Corporation recognized that 
if they were going to attract high wage, high skilled jobs, they needed a trained workforce. They needed the community college to assume that responsibility. And that is a very important part of our mission. We work very closely with business and industry to identify what are their needs. We then develop programs in response to those needs or we provide customized training. We have a whole arm of the college that provides customized training with, it doesn't matter if it's the hospitals, if it's advanced manufacturing, if it's technology, we're available to provide that training. When you think of why do companies uh, want to relocate to our region, we have a lot of young workers. We have a good work ethic. There just isn't always a good match between the skill sets of our current workforce and the needs of the new companies. So our role is to create that match. The, the aforementioned campuses, you heard of the one at the te our technology campus, right in the middle of the foreign trade zone, right mm -hmm. next to the McAllen Economic Development Corporation. And so workforce programs, building on the talent of professionals from, the, from our city here who serve on the advisory committee so that we can ensure that those programs are providing the graduates that they need to become employed eventually. Our nursing ally health in the heart of the mm -hmm. hospital complex as well and providing the nursing training, the physical therapy assistant, the occupational therapy assistant, and workforce programs that lead to very good paying jobs. In addition, in the workforce, we are one of only three Texas community colleges that has full authority to offer baccalaureate degrees. So our selection for those baccalaureate degrees are in the area of workforce. And we selected technology management, computer information technologies, medical and health services management, and we're ready to roll out another one that's going to be an organizational leadership. Very nice. Let's talk a little, little bit about the, uh, the research part uh, that's coming up. That's yes, a huge deal for us as that well. That is. That really is. And, um, we're, uh, we're an important partner in the research park. Um, the, the main focus of the research park is going to be to promote advanced manufacturing and a rapid response. Um, and once again, you're going to need the trained workforce to be able to do that. Um, we would like to actually be located in the park where we would have an opportunity to showcase some of our advanced manufacturing technology. We just received almost a million dollar grant from the Texas Workforce Commission to establish a robotics lab nice. so that we can begin training in advanced manufacturing. Uh, the new plant that has come to Edinburgh, uh, Santana, um, if you get a chance to see that facility, you will see what we mean by advanced manufacturing. And as we attract more of these companies, we're going to have to have the training facilities for that workforce. So that's, that's the plan. Um, UT Pan Am, South Texas College, and I hope our school districts are all going to be partners in providing this workforce. As we look at manufacturing, the college is the only accredited school in the state of Texas for, uh, with a national accreditation of the NIMS, NIMS yeah. National uh, Institute for Metalworking Skills. And that tells a lot when our graduates complete the program, they have also this national certification that's, that ensures that they're quality graduates. Hey, let's talk about uh, your, your graduates and the success rate of your, of your graduates. I know that uh, you're, you're ranked number four out of 1,200 community colleges uh, awarding associate degrees to Hispanic students. That's yes, huge. That is huge. Your, your, uh, if you could just talk a little bit about uh, the success rate of, uh, uh, of your graduates. Uh. Well, very, very important to the college is uh, when the college was created, we were looking at access, providing opportunities for students by having uh, courses that began early in the morning to very late at night. But then under President Reed's leadership was a very specific focus on graduation. So it was not only do we want to have students enroll about access, it's about student success. So we've m made a lot of efforts to ensure that students are able to graduate from the programs. Upon graduation, we also guarantee that those graduates are going to have the skills that are needed out there in the workforce. So students that graduate from our programs get employed specifically here in our region. Mm -hmm. We have a very vested interest that the students graduate from our programs, 
uh, find employment here in our region so that we can continue to build the uh, intellectual capacity for this area. So we work very well with the business and industry, the healthcare community to prepare the workforce that they need to be successful. And that's one of the things that our mayor has been has pushing for is keeping those young, brilliant minds here in Macau. And Absolutely. we're doing our very best, without a doubt, as, as was mentioned, the, the partnership with the Economic Development Corporation that from the city of McAllen and others as well, the Chamber of Commerce, is about how do we build this capacity and talent for our region to maintain it here. Very and how do we even uh, pull back some that have left by the job creation that's taking place here? What, what, what's on the horizon for South Texas College? I would say um, we're going to have to address the need for additional facilities. Um, as you approach the Pecan campus, you see portables on both sides of Pecan. Matter of fact, uh, we've got 38 portable buildings on this campus. We just built a new beautiful academic classroom building, but I doubt that anybody knows it there because <laughs> you can't even see it for the sea of portable buildings. Um, we have a master plan. Our goal is to be serving approximately 45,000 students by 2020. Um, we're going to need another 200 portable buildings if we're going to achieve that goal. So that is truly the biggest challenge that we are facing right now. Ahead for our next uh, legislative session, uh, what are you going to be asking our state lawmakers to help you with? Uh, it's always about funding. Um, we have to have adequate funding to provide a quality education for the students who come to us. Um, it gets tighter every year. It's more challenging every year um, to be able to give raises to faculty and to staff and to provide health insurance. Um, yes, it's going to be asking the state to invest. In, in what we are doing to create a workforce for not only this region, but for the state of Texas. I'd like to see the continued recognition on excellence. We are the highest graduation rate institution for the largest community colleges in the state of Texas. We recently graduated over 4,000 students. So that was mm -hmm. five arena fields of families and, <laughs> and students, faculty celebrating uh, the success of these students. So it's about continuing, allowing us to continue the partnerships our partnership with the city, with the school district from McAllen, with the early college high school, achieve an exemplary uh, high school here at the Pecan campus of the South Texas College. How do we do more of that throughout all our region? We are the uh, largest higher ed partner to public schools that have early college high schools. We have 15 partnerships. So how do we have the legislature continue to monitor our success so that they reward based on this success? Very good. Hey, and uh, if, if somebody has a, a, a child in, in, in high school and they're thinking about college and thinking, gee, what should I do? What should I go into? What are, what are some, some of the most uh, uh, careers in demand right now? Well, the ally health continues to be very strong. And that's as we talk about reaching capacity, our uh, nursing ally health campus is at capacity. Finding a parking space or finding a seat <laughs> is a challenge. We can only uh, allow so many students in the slots available for nursing, for example, based on state regulations and based on facility as well. So as we continue those programs, uh, we know they're successful. Uh, the Allied Health is very successful. Our workforce programs are being very successful. Programs that, are, that we would think, well, where did those come from in welding, for example? Those classes are full. Students are getting good paying jobs. So it's all the, the gamut of Allied Health, business, uh, education, and so uh, and especially it would be good that they find something that they enjoy doing. Right, and if somebody's not familiar with the, the Allied Health Program, what, what is that exactly? Sure, our Allied Health pro Programs include uh, nursing, the registered nurse, we have a licensed vocational nurse, physical therapy assistants, occupational therapy assistants, radiology technicians, medical assistants, medical records professionals, so it goes uh, paramedics and EMTs, mm -hmm. the emergency medical technicians, so there's just a lot of careers in the area of the allied health, how do we, the direct patient care and the indirect patient care. We have more allied health programs than most community colleges have uh, here at, in, in the majority are in the city of McAllen. However, we're expanding that to all our near, near uh, our cities that we represent uh, because we want students to have access close to their home. Very good, and you guys do a lot of uh, community outreach, but if, if somebody wants to come visit your campus, uh, if they want to find out more about your campus, who do they call, where should they call? 
I believe that they call, they can call us directly and we'll ensure that they get treated very well. But we do have uh, on our webpage under www.southtexascollege.edu, that would be the best place to identify who they wish to talk to and that way they can call directly. So in our webpage would be all the information. Very good. And, and how soon should, should, uh, should kids start thinking about financial aid? They should not wait till their senior year, right? Probably? No, um, I think parents need to be thinking about that as soon as they bring the little one home from the hospital. <laughs> they need to start planning <laughs> true, that true. early. Um, it's, we, we're here to assist students that need financial aid. Um, it's never too late, uh, but the earlier you plan for it, the better prepared you're going to be. Um, providing financial aid for our students uh, really is critical so many students really cannot afford to go to college without some financial aid assistance. You know, in addition to federal Pell Grants, we also have an installment loan program where students can kind of pay as they go. Uh, we're very committed to helping our students graduate from South Texas College debt-free, if you will. Um, we have a very affordable tuition rate. Uh, but even with that, students need assistance. All they have to do is drive to our campus, say that they want to attend South Texas College and they want to learn about financial aid. We will take care of them. And, and the beauty uh, of you guys being here in McAllen is that they don't have to go anywhere else and pay for a, a dorm or an apartment. They don't. They don't. We're a very affordable option. They can live here at home. Mm -hmm. They can participate in the free tuition and fees by, if they have an interest in college, as you mentioned earlier, to explore dual enrollment. Because mm -hmm. through dual enrollment, they can attain all the way to their whole associate degree, full two years, and that's while they're still students in high school. So that's a major scholarship, as was mentioned earlier. So much to talk about here uh, at South Texas College. Uh, we look forward to, to talking to you guys uh, on a regular basis here on the McAllen Cable Network and all of our social media sites. Uh, we look forward to doing that again. Before we leave, uh, anything else that you guys would like to add today? You know, one thing that we haven't talked much about is the Achieve Early College High School, which is McAllen's fourth high school. I doubt that people realize that we have that high school on our campus. Well, tell us all about it. <laughs> well, uh, it's in portable buildings, first of all. <laughs> they, uh, they just had their first graduated uh, class. Uh, I believe it was 86 students uh, graduated, and 66 of those students graduated with an associate degree. So if you can imagine, they earned their associate degree from South Texas College two weeks before McAllen actually presented them with their high school diploma. And wow. it is tuition free. Well, wow. and this is available for kids 9 through 12. 9 through 12. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're doing that with, uh, currently we have 15 early college high schools in, this, in the county of Hidalgo. And do they have a, a home campus at one of the other high schools or that this is their home campus? No, it actually is, is a, an extension of their high school, of their district. Okay. So, it, for example, mm -hmm. Achieve is the fourth high school for McAllen, and it just happens to be at our campus. But throughout uh, our area, all the way from Progreso, where they have it at their campus, but in partnership with our Mid-Valley campus, and uh, in the La Jolla area in partnership with the college, so it's an extension of the school district there. So they'll be able to do athletics and extracurricular activities at their... At, their at, at some point they at will have to, point. the majority mm -hmm. can, but at some point some may have to decide because this is high it's rigor tough, yeah. that yeah. do I want to continue that or do I want to focus on, on the academic component, but many students are able to do both. So it's very individualized to the student as to if they can do it, great. If they believe that they can, then they have to make that decision. Very good. Juan Mejia, Dr. Shirley Wee, we congratulate you on all the success. Oh, thank you. And we'll be here to celebrate your 20th anniversary very soon. I hope to be here as well. <laughs> all right, very good. Thank Andrew, you very we look much. look forward to talking to you guys uh, in the very near future as okay, well. Okay, thank you. All right. You. Okay. We, of course, uh, thank you for watching. I'm Ray Pedraza, and this is the McAllen Cable Network.